The focus on enforced disappearances now shifts to Garissa County. The members of the county assembly are concerned following the rising cases which they say are being orchestrated by security apparatus. We want to condemn the enforced disappearance, uh, extrajudicial killing that is becoming rampant within Garissa County. We are appealing to His Excellency the President William Ruto, the CS Defense, uh, Aden Dwale and the CS Interior Kindiki Kidure that they came on the platform of change to stop enforced disappearance and extrajudicial killings of Muslims and Somalis in Garissa. Their demand. The information we have, all of them were abducted by security forces, mainly KDF security forces, and they are nowhere to be found. We have tried to search for them in the police stations. The police are adamant that this is the work of the military. Some of them are said to be held up in Manda Bay. Some of them are in Nakuru. We are appealing to the, both the CS and the president. Please stop this enforced disappearance and extrajudicial killings. The MCS say the cases have continued for far too long. This year alone, several people have been reported missing with their whereabouts unknown. Efforts to resolve the matter have been futile with their cry falling on deaf ears. Taabu yetu kubwa ni kwamba serikali yetu ya Kenya kama watoto wameshikwa na wako na hatia hawaletwi katika mahakama. Wanapotea mahali ambayo tujui mahali wako paka leo hatujui. The return of missing persons cases taken by security apparatus was believed to be a thing of the past following President William Ruto's declaration. There shall never be again extrajudicial killings or political assassinations. But now, the rising cases are a clear indication that the head of state's word has not effected change yet. The leaders now want the president to reinforce his statement with actions. When the government of UDA, headed by His Excellency William Ruto, came into power, he promised us that he is going to end the extrajudicial killings and abduction of, of our loved ones. But it, it, now it looks like it has increased in numbers. And today where I come from, Liboy, is literally panning. And at fortnight ago, we have lost Abdul Hakim, a young, hardworking guy. Mr. President and the CS, enough is enough. Kindly return these people who are said to be in military camps. They are being held incognito under torture. Brian Amwai, K24.